good morning from Manchester, England. I'm gonna keep this really short because I only have one day and I will have a lot I wanna do. But it is the last full day of my trip. I am here, I flew in yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Flew in yesterday from Good Dance. And um, yeah, I fly out of here tomorrow morning. So really Manchester was supposed to be just kind of be like this intermediary, intermittent, no. Just a stop. Um, because I just had to get home, but I'm really excited to go explore, which is why I'm trying to make this as fast as possible, but today I have a lot I want to do, so I am about to head out. I got up this morning, went for a run, and now I'm ready to go have some fun before I have to come back here and pack. So let's make the most of our one day here, and let's go. Also, I'm obsessed with my view. Let me check this out. Good luck. Stand up paddle boarding with my focus. I tried that one, so it was really bad. Okay, let's go. I fit in a lot during my 24 hours in Manchester, but did not record every moment. I wanted to soak in as much as I could, so please forgive me if it seems like my day was sparse. I promise, I fully maximized my time in Manchester. One of my first stops of the day was to the John Rylands Library. The library opened to the public in 1900 and was founded by Enriqueta Agustina Rylands in memory of her husband, John Rylands. It is now part of the University of Manchester Library. The special collections are believed to be one of the largest in the United Kingdom and even include a Gutenberg Bible. The library is a must see for fans of Harry Potter as its architecture is reminiscent of scenes from the movies. Admission is free and definitely worth a visit. Manchester Cathedral is the mother church of the Anglican Diocese of Manchester. Construction began in 1421 and the church was rebuilt in the perpendicular Gothic style. It is an absolutely gorgeous church that is worth a visit. It is free to enter and to look around. On the day I went, there was an event occurring, so I was unable to see parts of the church but I was still able to take in the amazing architecture and intricate woodwork. Definitely plan ahead to make sure that there is not an event occurring, but even if there is, definitely go to the church because what I could see was still amazing. almost it. My trip is almost over. I fly back tomorrow. I've spent the day exploring and I'm really sad my trip is coming to an end. I mean there's things happening within like the next week that are really exciting back home. I graduate uh, yeah thinking a week from today. Obviously I'm not going to post this until after this happens but a week from today, I will have my master's degree, which is really exciting. And, you know, there's different things happening when I get back home. Um, but there's also a lot of stressors. And I feel like when I travel, 
I get such peace for the most part and I feel confident and I just, <laughs> sorry, I just, I don't like going back. I had the same issue my last time I traveled extensively. And like this doesn't really happen for like really short trips, you know, if I take like a weekend trip somewhere or whatever, it just really happens more on these longer trips, but like I get really sad, like yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see my family and go back to my apartment and see my cat, but I feel like I lose some of my confidence when I go home, which I really shouldn't let that happen, but I think inevitably it does, and I think you know, the circumstances are different this time around. Um, like last time, you know, I at least had something to go back to in terms of I was starting an internship and yeah, the pay wasn't great, but I had a paying position waiting for me. And I had school and everything, but now like I go back and yeah, I have like a week of school, but then I don't have school anymore because I'm done. I don't have a job. Like, I mean, I'm going to be starting my own company and doing more remote work because that's just that's an entirely different thing but you know I just that's stressful and I just don't have a steady source of income so anyway like, it's like this travel it's been on the back of my mind and of course I've had to do the school stuff the, the whole job thing it's been on the back of my mind this trip but now it's like okay I have to hit, do this head on Anyway, I am so grateful for this trip, so grateful for the opportunity to do this travel again. It won't be my last time. I definitely, though, want to explore other places other than Europe. Um, hopefully in 2020 I can go to some new areas of the world. Uh, I'm hoping that I have one more international trip at the end of this year. But yeah, I'm just excited for the future and what's to come, but I'm also terrified. But this trip has been so amazing, so fulfilling. It's weird because sometimes I'm wondering, you know, looking back on this trip now, like, did I have fun? Like, it didn't have the excitement that I think the first one had. And, you know, I went to very different places this time around. Um, than I did the previous time and these weren't for the most part places I my battery is flashing but these weren't places that I had wanted to go to my entire life really um, I mean I went back to some places and then I went to places I didn't think I was going to go to like two months ago so it was just a very different trip but I'm so appreciative I saw some amazing things I experienced some amazing things and <clears throat> excuse me and yeah so I hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll do a better job of wrapping up this I guess maybe in a different video but thanks for watching whether you started way back when I did my first trip or just with this video but thank you for your support your love and for your time because again, you spent your time watching these videos. But thank you. I'm gonna go pack and fly home tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye to this amazing view. But it's time to go home. What a trip it has been.